you know, coming to China, I mean, learning Chinese, okay, in when I was whatever, 21, 22 years old, and then coming to Beijing and becoming an actor here and living here for 25 years, uh, you know, starting a family here with, you know, my wife is Chinese, my kids who are half Chinese. I, I mean, it's, it was one of the great choices of my life. Because in America, the very, 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 very last country that you get to in you know, history classes is China. And you learn like this little tiny sliver of Chinese history, like basically after Europeans came to China. You know, everything that came before that. So I decided I was going to do it the opposite. I was going to read the history of the, of the last furthest country from. There, back to Africa. So I read a lot of Chinese history first, and then sort of expanded out from China. If I'm named Cao Cao, right, that means, that tells people immediately that I know a little bit about Chinese culture and history, and that I care. Um, and so, that's a, that's a valuable piece of information. That you know that I know enough about Chinese culture to, to have and respect it enough, you know, to have chosen this name. I remember my first day so clearly. You know, like I, I got off the plane and took a cab, and you know, the the Jichang Gaosu, the airport road, didn't even exist. You know, it was the side road, the little road, right? And you know, all these, all those tall trees on the side. And, you know, I got to where I was going, and I mean, you remember, was, this was Beijing in the 90s. Fourth Ring was not even finished. You know, people ask me that question a lot. Um, like, oh, Sao Sao, you've lived in Beijing for so long, you must have changed so much, you must have seen so much change over the, over the you know, 20 years, you know, blah, 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 like that question. And I kind of, reality is like, it is different, right? I mean, the buildings are taller, the streets are wider, you know, the cars are, are newer. But the people are still the same. I like to shoot The Beijing that I know, you know, the, the, the stories, the stories of Beijing as a new city with all this history, you know, it's, it's got all the, I, I like to shoot, you know, the fact that Beijing is a new city, but it's also an old city, and it's got all these new people from other places, but it's got all these old people, not, not old people, but it's got all these people from were born and raised in Beijing. When I when I first came to China, <laughs> all of these were just uh, you know little blankets on the ground, no roof. Mm -hmm. It was a lot smaller. Yeah. And this place since then has just grown into this huge thing. It's the capital. It's a huge city. It's huge. And so all of those things like interact in a really interesting way and, and there are all these stories that you can tell about about Beijing. <laughs> <laughs>